Yo, 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 what's up guys, what's going on, it's your boy, Jacobson, welcome back to another video, now today's video is going to be video number 8, I believe, now we're going to be doing another giveaway, of course, and you guys are all probably asking by now, um, he won the last giveaways and all that, you know what I'm saying, I will be announcing all the winners, in video 10 or 9 or 11 or so I might actually be live streaming it so stay tuned because in my next video I will probably talk about everything what I'm going to be doing for the giveaways because there is about eight or nine giveaways so if you guys didn't enter in the giveaways before um, make sure you do that real quick if you want to enter in the giveaways is it will be coming up shortly so today's video is going to be over Helping new players out, or any player, I guess, in particular, because I will be uh, showing you guys how to make money as a as a beginner, I guess, and as um, I, I guess it's really focusing on like new players. The reason why is because um, I'm making this video. And I get a lot of people messaging me. Uh, how do you? How did you start playing the server? And uh, I I, I message them, but I feel like videos. Of like content would be uh, ten times better than just saying hey go do this because I'm actually displaying the content they can see it so let's hop right in today's video um, before we actually do that uh, this is our giveaway it's about 120 bill shout out to jingles one two three four five dope name bro I, dude, guys a gangster but if you guys want to join our CC, it's Fools, F O L Z Z. Because if you guys can't join, contact me or any of these guys that you see, and we will uh, try to rank you and get you into the CC. CC is number one. I gotta say that. I've been in the CC ever since I started. Yeah, my rank's the best. So <laughs> let's hop right into this video, guys. I hope you do enjoy. Alright guys, um, tip number one of trying to start making money on the server. Um, so this setup is basically for maging of course, if you guys didn't realize. But let's actually go to the place where we are going to be going to uh, Revenants. So now some of you guys might know this, but I feel like most of the server doesn't know it. But who knows? But like I said, it's mainly for new players. so. We're gonna be um, barraging frost dragons. Hopefully, okay, I got it. <laughs> and actually, I feel like my inventory is messed up because I didn't check. Why do we have super strength and super attack? But you know, honestly, don't really worry about that, guys. So we're gonna be going up north over here. Um, I haven't been here in a minute. Or I, okay, it's lava dragons. My bad. So we're gonna be barraging all these. So let's get it. So let's get this real quick. I'm just going to show you a demonstration of what you would be doing. Now you can, oops, you know what I'm supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to be, uh, <laughs> blood, blood blitz, my bad. Alright, so reason why is because you want to gather, gather them all in together. So let's do that real quick. Make sure you turn uh, auto retaliate off. And let's get all, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, six dragons. So what we're going to do is walk this way. And ladies and gentlemen, make sure you bring your super anti-poison potion. Other than that, we are good to go. <laughs> so, um, no, I actually just use a melee protect. So and then there you go, guys. You're killing all six of the dragons. Like, like look at that, guys. Now you're sitting AFK. Um, Yoshi does not work in Revenant Cave, so uh, the thing about this is that you have to actually run out on your own, and it's pretty risky, so just make sure that uh, you're not holding too much in your inventory because this is a PK server, and let alone there's over 70 players in the wildy right now, so the odds of you seeing a player is not slim at all, so... Let's uh, let's see what we get from our first rack of five kills. All right, guys, we're about to finish our first amount of kills. Um, didn't even take that long, actually. Probably took about ten seconds. And we are going to see what we got from six uh, lava dragons or so. Let's just drop these. 
And guys, remember, this only took literally 30 seconds. So, uh, love dragon bones. I do not know how much currently they are going for, but usually I focus on the blood money. So let's get another one real quick. Yo guys, one thing I did forgot to mention when you're uh, doing Lava Dragons, uh, I guess you can look in the money making guide, or the money making teleport, and uh, you will actually achieve one of your uh, activities that you do daily, and that's the treasury uh, casket and 75 blood money, which is pretty decent, so I forgot to uh, mention that, but so that's like a free six bill. So let's take a look at what we're gonna get real quick. What did I just achieve? Oh, that was someone else. Okay. Oh, what the heck? You guys, look at that. 100 mil cash bag. Oh, yeah, and then uh, it auto banks or auto uh, puts the blood money into our inventory, I guess, if you only have the Yoshi. So. Let's see what else we're going to get from this last. So this is from 12 Lava Dragons. So let's take a look. Um, Sears Ring, 100 mil cash bag. So that's 500 mil right there. And if you guys are curious on what they drop, this is what they drop. Um, just all this good crap in general, dude. So it's, it's pretty good. If you guys can't afford a bounty cape, Make sure you, you uh, wear that. It's 20 bill or so, and it increases the drop rate on that. So now you guys want to uh, run out and bank your loot. So you would have to run back south of the Rev Cave where you entered in from, and uh, make sure you level up your agility too if you want to do like revenants in the uh, cave. Because I think you might. No, actually, you don't need agility, but it's it's always good to have agility. Because if you're risking like six bank and you um, you lose all this because of you walking when you could have ran like an extra like five uh, paces, um, it's it's just a big difference, just believe it or not. So just make sure you have your agility up as well, even though it doesn't take that long. So you just keep running south until you hit 20 wildy and pfft, teleport out. Alright guys, for tip number two, when you get bored of doing frost or uh, lava dragons, you want to do something else. So another tip is blood revenants. You guys probably all know this by now, but you can sell your treasure casket for like five bill and buy yourself a blowpipe after when you finish lava dragons. And the other thing you want to do is make sure you have five cash bags. And I actually achieved that from one of the drops. And you want to go here and buy a lesser blood orb. The reason why is because look at the benefits right there yes yes so we want to go to uh, oh yeah another thing is right before we go out here if you guys don't know the bounty cape it increases the drop rate percentage on each NPC out in the wilderness um, so you can either use that or a fire cape it's, this is 20 bills so um, and you can also have the option of using a fairy pet which is 20 bill and that also increases the drop rate as well so thanks whoever is uh, having this pet right here because it just reminded me of so we're gonna go to the money making teleport and let's go to elder chaos because this is where I start with my uh, blood revenants there's a lot of PKs over here so just be aware and what you want to do is just run east or so and this is where the agility kicks into play because you're running all the time and uh, there's gonna be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of PVMers out here trying to look for blood revenants. So I actually we see one right here. So let's uh, let's do this real quick. And another uh, tip when you guys are in when you guys are basically PVMers and you accidentally click like on PKers all the time, this is the options that you want to have because uh, it's this is the recommended options for PVMers. Is I remember um, I had some friends that are PVMers and they actually right click or they actually clicked on PKers with like bank and it, dude it's just it's the worst feeling ever. So what you oh dude look at that that's like I don't know 200 mil but that's basically what you want to do 
And if you have the fairy pet and not the Yoshi pet, then you just want to uh, teleport out when you get a decent amount of loot. See, this guy is doing blood revenants, but he does not have the lizard blood orb. And the lizard blood orb actually increases the chance of you getting the spawn of the. Uh, I don't know what they call it, but it's like the unique blood revenant. So you attack one blood blood revenant, and it's one out of every hundred chance that you're gonna get a second blood revenant in that one um, spawn, and that's going to be able to give you like amazing loot. And uh, you'll see in the yell chats and all that. So uh, let's find a couple more. All right, guys, another kill uh, or whatever. Um, so one thing that I do want to mention before you actually choose your account, um, if you're doing train account, you guys cannot attack this NPC unless you're 126 combat. So just putting that out there before you actually choose your um, what you want on your account. So and another thing is that I think it's in the uh, task as well. So. Uh, I believe it's in there somewhere somewhere so revenants right there okay but yeah you just keep going around and you just you know what I'm saying it's it's not it's like it's not like where you're gonna like get it like maybe after this kill or something it's like one out of every chance of you like actually getting that one revenant and you'll see it in the yell chat every now and then um, right here mythic revenant I think that's what it is but you'll you'll see it in the ch uh, in the yell chat every now and then. But this is uh, this is a lucky way to get to like 50 build drops. So it might take a while, but definitely, definitely, I would recommend getting the lizard blood orb if you're going to be doing this for like hours or so. So I always recommend it to buy it. All right, guys, a few money making tips right here. Do colon colon vote. You're going to get yourself four vote tickets. What you're going to do with that is do colon colon claim when you're actually done voting. Come over here, uh, click vote shop. You guys all know, you guys all know this. Unless you're like the first uh, first time playing on a RuneScape private server. And you'll get, you'll just buy five and get four. Um, another thing is make sure you're checking your achievement diaries. Because as you probably watched in my videos, I did not realize till like the end when I maxed out. <laughs> so and I had like a hundred bill to like uh, achieve, even though it was just sitting there for a long time. So another thing is merching, guys. Now the server has a trading post. You guys all know that. What we want to do is look at most recent, and we want to look at some items that we can merch. Um, so if you have like just money sitting around in your bank. I know you guys might not be good at merching, but it's always good to give it a try because like you just have this money sitting and it's okay if you lose like a little bit of money, but the reason why that you guys might not be losing money as you might think is because you can take a look at the item history. Now this is a big, oh man, dude, it just helps so much because there's, there could be a scammer out there saying like, yo. I'm selling this AGS for two bill, but dude, it's going in the TP for five bill, and you only see like those five items of the AGS going for like five bill. But believe it or not, if I take a look at the Arminal God Sword, you can see that it was sold for three minutes ago for uh, 300 mil. So it's always good to double check to make sure that if someone's trying to sell you a item and you think it's a good deal. Just make sure you double check in the uh, item history. And actually, believe it or not, if we look at donator mystery boxes, they were sold for what six bill each or so. So if actually, if I wanted to uh, merge that, I could buy one for five bill and sell that later on for a one bill profit. Because if we look. Honestly, what you should have done is make sure that there's no other items in there that were lower than that. So make sure you actually look the item up. Uh, go in here. Make sure you type it in correctly as well because I have lost so much money before. Make it look really nice like one bag off from like 60. So make it look 59 like it's a good deal. 
go in there and you sell it for uh, 59 that's actually a 700 bill or 700 mil flip so it's pretty nice guys so merching is a good way to make money so that's uh, that's another good tip and uh, I see a lot of guys over here thieving a lot and I remember when I first started the server I was asking players like dude is thieving a good way to make money I mean yo if you want 850,000 coins, go on ahead, brother. All right, guys, one more tip. This is really, really benefit right here. Um, I don't know what your time zone is when you get on and play and all that, but right now it's 1 o'clock p.m. Central Time, and we want to go make some money. We're like AFK or something, you know what I mean? So, you know, okay, let's just go to Elder King Streets. Now, guys, it's really uh, there's a big difference when you want to come here so you can come in here at like the busiest time of the day and get like no kills at all and if that is so you just want to go up here to this chaos rude put on the auto retaliate hit it once and you can just sit there afk i don't think that's bannable at all i don't know i didn't know no it's not no it's not so if that's what you want to do do that uh, you can easily make up to like probably 30 to 40 bill an hour and it depends on different items as well the uh, items that I always tend to get is like the point mystery boxes these go for around 200 mil goodie bags go for around one bill or so so if you get those drops that's like a one or two bill and then also if you guys are new and if you guys never attacked uh, Elder Chaos Druids they spawn black druids one out of a hundred and um, those druids give you about like average hundred to four hundred blood money and like some special items so those NPCs spawn one out of a hundred and they give you uh, loots up to like five to ten bills so it's it's pretty awesome so make sure you don't stay AFK you actually like stay in game and you're watching because believe it or not um, another PV hammer can go up and attack that black druid even though that was meant for you and he could take that loot and that could be like 5 to 10 bill and um, yeah, yeah it really sucks so make sure you're watching that and also shout out to the CC fools because they have your back when you're PVMing and go like yo man I need a help at chaos or er, LE Drew or er, LE Drew Yo, man. Okay, and watch, guys. Watch, watch, watch. Right now. I'm going to say right now. All right? And believe it or not, you're going to see a purple dot spawn up. That was a white dot, so that was a fail. But, like I'm like I'm trying to say, guys, you can make up to like 30 to 40 bill an hour, and it's just really nice. Sorry, Jacob. In raid. Oh, whatever. Suck my butt. No, I'm just joking. Alright guys, I hope that <laughs> helped you out a little bit. Uh, I think it was like 18 minutes long when it could have been like 5 minutes. But, you know, you know how I am. Bro. I like to have fun. I like to spice it up a little bit. So, this is our giveaway. It's about a couple GP or so. So, if you guys want to enter in that, you know how to do it. Shout out to the Bro CC Fools. And also shout out to Jingles12345 because he supported the giveaway. So big shout out to you, bro. Thank you. If you guys want to hit him up, he's really nice. He's gay though, so no, I'm just joking. But you, you know how Jingles is sometimes. He, he gets a little bit off char and he, yeah, he's just a creepo. But um, I hope this did help you guys out to any new players, especially to like some rich players that probably probably gonna dislike it but you know what that's whatever so um, I'm gonna be uploading my next video like I said if you guys didn't watch the beginning of the video make sure to watch because uh, some of you guys might be asking when am I gonna announce all the winners for all the past giveaways right uh, so make sure you watch that beginning of the video because I do talk about that I hope you guys do have an all good day and I'll see you guys in my next video peace out